Uh, my name is Nicole, this is Angela, and we're going to be presenting to you today on LexiConf. I'm hoping you guys can hear me all right, but if you can't, there is a chat box where you can let us know or also ask any questions that you might have throughout the webinar. This webinar is going to be recorded and it will be available on our website afterwards. And our contact information is also going to be at the end of the webinar so that you can get in touch with us at any time if you have questions, if you want more information about anything, we're always happy to set up a one-on-one -on -one session with you if that's needed or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So let's get going. So what we hope to accomplish today is understand what LexiComp is and who it is for, how to access LexiComp online through the WHA Virtual Library, uh, become a little familiar with the content and the interface of LexiComp. This is only 30 minutes, so it's going to be very a quick overview. We're also going to talk a little bit about the LexiComp uh, on mobile devices that are available. And there is going to be a lot of information today. I uh, don't feel you have to take notes because we will be sending out the uh, slide deck, but we're also going to send out several uh, reference guides for you as well. So who is uh, LexiComp? What is LexiComp? It's a drug compendium. It provides up-to-date information on uh, prescription and over-the-counter drugs uh, at the point of care. It's a great resource for pharmacists, physicians, nurses, and dentists. And what it is exactly is it's a collection of database and it's, they're all brought together uh, so that you can search them in a single interface. Uh, you can search for dosing and guidelines specific to pediatric adults or geriatric populations. You can check for IV compatibility, uh, check on international drug information, information for infectious diseases, if you wanted uh, drug information relevant to pregnancy and lactation, there's uh, material safety data sheets that are available, also information on household products, uh, natural products, and patient education. Uh, and if that case that's not enough, it also has the American Hospital Formulary Service as well, providing you with evidence-based drug information. Uh, there are several clinical uh, decision tools, drug interaction tools, calculators, over 100 calculators, pill identifiers, and also IV drug interaction. And if that wasn't enough uh, to help you with your diagnosis and treatment at point of care, it also links directly to information that's available through UpToDate, which is another point of care tool. And the next screen uh, is just to show you uh, give you a quick listing of all the Lexi databases that are in there and their clinical tools. Uh, so they're, they're pulling information from quite a few different resources. So accessing LexiConf through the WRHA Virtual Library. I'll give you over to Nicole. All right. So there are two main ways that you can access LexiConf through the WHA Virtual Library. Uh, if you haven't bookmarked our homepage already, you should definitely go ahead and do that. It's shown on the screen here. Uh, you can just search WHA Virtual Library or go to that URL that's at the top of your screen here. Um, once you're there, we are soon going to be adding a page dedicated to LexiComp under the Find Information tab. For the moment, it's not there yet, so that's on its way. But for now, you can go under Find Information and click on Online Resources, which will take you to our list of all of our different subscription databases, free online resources, everything that you can access through the WHA Virtual Library. It's uh, sorted in alphabetical order, so you can go all the way down to the L section, which is where you will find LexiComp. Once you've clicked on that link, uh, you will be brought to a screen in which you can log in through the library. So you, you would use for this screen your WHA virtual library login, which you should have received via email. If you don't have that or don't remember what it is, feel free to get in touch with us. We'd be happy to look that up for you, maybe reset your password if you need. So once you've logged in, you will see an end user license agreement. This is just a whole bunch of legal requirements about what you can and can't do with the database. It's not a big deal. You just click on I agree and then you'll get into the database itself. You can also access LexiComp through our toolkits, which are found also under Find Information. So toolkits are basically an online guide to the various um, resources we have specific to particular professional areas or specific topics. So we have a dedicated guide for pharmacy, which you see here on the main toolkit page. 
And once you click into that, you'll find a whole bunch of different resources that we specifically recommend for pharmacy. This doesn't cover every single pharmacy resource that we have. It's just an overview of some key resources that we think will be particularly useful to you. And one of those, of course, is LexiComp, which is right here under the Drug Reference Guide. So if you click on that link, again, you'll be asked to sign in with your WHA username, uh, WHA Virtual Library login and password, and you'll have to go through that whole user agreement again. But this is an alternate means for you to access LexiComp. Okay, so using LexiComp, so you've uh, located LexiComp, you've signed in, and you clicked on the user agreement. That'll bring you to this screen, uh, the single search bar interface that I had mentioned earlier. So at this point, uh, you can search across all the databases, the drugs, diseases, toxology databases that LexiComp offers. Uh, you can enter in a keyword for a drug, a lab uh, procedure, or a disease. But before that, we do that, I want to just orientate you to this page a little bit. Up in the uh, top uh, bar, blue bar there, uh, after the home, which is this home page, uh, you see Trissel's IV compatibility. And clicking on that, you're uh, able to put in a couple of drug names or IV solution names, at least two. Uh, it will pr provide an analysis of compatibility. Uh, interactions, uh, LexiClump, Lexi Interact uh, provides a drug interaction analysis tool. It, you can do drug to drug, uh, drug to allergy, or drug to food, I believe, as well. Uh, it'll do an analysis on that information, uh, provide you with a graded screen and you have access to the monograph through that as well. Drug ID is handy. Uh, you can use it uh, to ID various pills, tablets, uh, all in different forms, whether it's a gel form, an aerosol, a cream. Uh, you can enter in the dosage form. You can check by shape and color. And you can also use the uh, national drug code as well to identify various drugs. This is particularly useful if someone comes in with an unlabeled medication mm -hmm. that you can use this tool to help identify what it might be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, patient education as well is available uh, from the top there. Uh, here you can uh, print off packets of information to provide to your patients. Uh, it's written at a grade five, grade six level, and it can come. It is available in up to 18 different languages. Calculators, uh, there's over 100 different calculators that you can browse through, uh, like the BMI calculator, my personal favorite. I have a doctor's appointment coming up. <laughs> so that's all available to you. And then if that's not enough, to, under the more clinical tools, I've uh, put on the right-hand side there where the arrow is, the drop-down box for that so that you can peruse that in the future. So drug comparisons, reports, the MSDS is available, toxicology information, access to up-to-date is available through that. And just to mention, the very last bit we'll be looking at briefly in a few screens is the advanced search. That's where you, you access the advanced search. Uh, they have a little purple reminder there in the middle of the screen as well to let you know, because it's kind of buried. I would never think to find it there. So. Uh, to get to the advanced, it's under the more clinical tools. There's also on this homepage link to some training videos and a quick reference guide. So if after this uh, presentation you still want more information, that's a great place for you to look yes, for Yes, thanks. I forgot to almost mention that. Yeah, below the uh, search bar there, they provided new FDA drug approvals, special alerts. And in that uh, left uh, screen uh, bar there, uh, you can see the training videos that Nicole mentioned, quick reference. Up at the top right-hand corner there, they have a user guide, and every screen pretty much has a, has a uh, help information specific to that screen. Uh, take a note, too, of the little blue bar there, the mobile access codes under additional services. Uh, we'll be looking, we'll, we'll need to use that in the future when Nicole's talking about the apps. So that's where you find that. So let's continue with a search. So if we were looking for levothyroxine, uh, if you start typing that into the search bar after you type at least four characters, uh, it will come up with a uh, list, suggested list term. 
Uh, I typed in a little more and then I could see the levothyroxine. I didn't have to continue spelling it and I was able to select it from there. So if you uh, click on that, you are then brought into this screen, which you can only see the top half of it. So the on the right-hand side, I've just listed the heady, headers that you can't see. So you have an idea of what shows up. Uh, it just indicates the term levothyroxine in all the different databases that it's available in, that are available to you in, in uh, LexiComp. So if you wanted just geriatric information for levothyroxine, you could go to that section directly or pregnancy and lactation, you could go to that section. So I've just selected the very first one there under Lexi Drugs Levothyroxine to show you what the monograph looks like. So this is the monograph, a portion of it on the left-hand side there is a, uh, 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 a table of content, I guess, that you could browse through and click on to that, those various sections, gives you an idea of what's in the monograph. Uh, across the top there where the uh, orange arrow is, if I decided I just wanted to look at images, I could quickly do that or go to the adult ed patient education or the pediatric patient education as well or, uh, is another way to, to maneuver through this monograph. Some of the monographs are quite long, so they do have a couple of other options for uh, traveling through this monograph. I'm not showing it in this screen, but up in the right top corner when you when you pull the screen up you'll see a search bar so you can actually enter in a term or a heading and then it will take you to that those terms and or that heading uh, they also have a jump to section in that area as well so that you could just jump to a specific subject heading so lots of different ways to maneuver around this monograph uh, i think this a nice feature of the uh, FlexiComp, uh, besides uh, the pronunciation, the um, phonetic spelling pronunciation, what's nice about this is there's normally a little blue arrow under pronunciation. And if you click on that, what happens is you open up that little uh, audio box and it actually describes you could hear someone speaking the drug term. So that would be very useful for someone like myself. So the LexiComp Advanced Search, uh, if you recall, I pointed it out on the main page there. You have to go under More Clinical Tools uh, to click on Advanced Search. It looks pretty much the same. You've got the single search bar, but it gives you the opportunity to limit the search by various fields or categories. So if you just wanted to go to the chart category, or if you needed to just look up drug interactions or uh, warning precautions and you can limit your search this way. So I'll turn you back over to Nicole who'll talk a little bit about the mobile apps. Great. So the mobile apps provide a lot of the same functionality that we've just discussed with the main desktop version. It's available for iPad, iPhone, iPod Touch as well as for various Android products. And what's kind of nice about this is that it works offline, so you don't need to necessarily be connected to a Wi-Fi or a data connection in order to use the app. It provides the opportunity for you to look up drug monographs just as you would on desktop, and you also have some of the same tools, like you can check drug interactions, you can go back to identifying loose and unlabeled medications, um, drug IV compatibility, all those kinds of things, all of that is available through this rather slick looking mobile app. Mm -hmm. So in order to download this, it's a bit of a complicated process, and this is just a quick overview of it. So we're going to be sharing later the detailed instructions for both Apple products as well as Android products on how to do this. But in general, you would go to LexiComp online through the WHA virtual library using either of the methods that we discussed earlier, and you would click on that mobile access codes button that Angela highlighted when we were going through the main page. Uh, it's going to bring up an authorization code for you that you're going to need to record in order to add it to your account. So what you're going to do from there is you're going to create an account and then you're going to add your subscription using that authorization code. And when you install the mobile app, uh, it's going to make sure that you're the same person as logged in on desktop and that way it'll ensure that you get access to the mobile app. You do have to renew it periodically, which means you just have to go get another authorization code. Uh, but that's a pretty simple, straightforward process. It just requires a bit of understanding of how to use the desktop versus the mobile version. I also wanted to mention a few warnings about the mobile version. Uh, first of all, 
it's a fairly good sized file. So if, if you have uh, space limitations on your device or if you have an older device, it might not work as well for you. Uh, it requires periodic updating and updates can take some time, especially if you have a slower connection. And um, you really need, because it's such a big file, you really want to have either an unlimited data or a Wi-Fi signal for installation because it can be expensive if you don't do that. Uh, but definitely take a look at the specific requirements based on the device that you personally own, whether it works for the device that you have, and just make sure that you keep in mind that it's a good sized file and it'll take some time and some data to download. Mm -hmm. So once you do download the, the device, um, this is basically what the app looks like on the left hand side here. So you see these pretty looking buttons. Uh, if you click on that green button, that takes you to basically the search interface that Angel showed you before, just optimized for a mobile version. So you start typing in the drug that you're interested in looking in, in the search bar, and it'll find that information on that drug across all the different databases that LexiComp searches. So you can go to Lexi Drugs, you can go to pediatric natal natal, you can go to dental office, medical emergencies, whatever is specific to uh, whatever use case you're interested in. And then you would find the monograph for that particular item and you can, as Angela mentioned, jump down to a specific heading, search the field, look at a leech subject heading, uh, whatever else might be of interest to you. You can also need to be careful if you see this red button that's on the home screen there. Uh, because it doesn't require a data connection or Wi-Fi to access because you can use it offline, it isn't dynamically updated. So if you've had this app on for a month or two, you want to make sure that you're periodically clicking on that red button to download the latest version of the drug information because, of course, drug information can change over time. You want to make sure that if you're relying on this app for patient care purposes, you have the most up-to-date information. And also I wanted to mention uh, at the top of the screen here, you see the URL for our training video specific to the mobile app. I definitely encourage you guys to check that out if you have further questions. Or of course, you can always get in touch with us and we'd be happy to help you. Yeah, it's a very short 90 second video. So just to get you, give you a feel of how to maneuver around there. So we're, as I said, we're going to send out some quick reference guides, uh, specifically how to access LexiComp via the WHA li virtual library, so via the online resources or the pharmacy toolkit. Uh, we'll send out a quick reference guide on using LexiComp, and we'll send you out a couple of sheets on the LexiComp mobile app on how to install and set that up, one for uh, Apple products and one for uh, Android products. So we're coming to an end. Uh, that was a little quick today, so hopefully you might have some questions for us. But in summary, uh, LexiComp is a very useful tool for a wide range of professionals as well as students. Uh, it provides comprehensive, concise drug information, both for prescription and over the counter. And it's fairly easy to use. The mobile app is available for you to download so that you can use it at point of care. You just need to remember to always update the databases so that you have the most current information. And that concludes our quick overview of LexiComp. Uh, hopefully you might have some questions for us. Uh, we'll stay on the line for a few minutes. Uh, we'll mute ourselves, but you can use the chat box to enter in any information or questions that you have or comments on the uh, comments on our webinar. Uh, we will send out the deck slide and uh, we will post uh, the recording of this uh, uh, webinar online. So if you need to refer back to it or please refer your colleagues to it, uh, that will take a couple of days to get posted. So uh, we'll send out a link to that when that's ready as well. Anything else? Uh, no, our contact information is up mm -hmm. on the screen there if you yep. don't get a chance to ask your questions in this webinar. Yeah. Or also I wanted to mention that we do have a literature search service available to you if you want to get more in-depth information about any medications or any patient care related questions you might have that is definitely available to you through our website for us to do the research on your behalf. I just want to make sure that everyone's aware of that service mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. But if you have any questions after this webinar, please feel free to get in touch with us at any yeah. time. Yeah. So I'll mute us now, but we will stay on the line for a few minutes in case you have any questions.